rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today that you are my all in all. You are the great I am. Lord, I thank you today that you are what we need when we need it. Lord, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled as a deer pants for water. Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Father God, I thank you today for your words as a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Lord, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard our hearts and guard our minds. Father God, I thank you today for your words as my eyes are on the sparrow. Don't you know that I'm watching out for you? Father God, I thank you today as your words in Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon shall have intended end. For what the enemy is made for bad, Lord, I know you'll turn around for our good. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37, 23, for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Father God, I thank you today for your divine plan and your divine purpose. Father God, I thank you today that you are the way maker. You are the air giver. Lord, you're an ever present help in a time of trouble. Lord, I thank you today for your words as mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Matthew 11 and 28. Come to me, all those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Father God, I thank you today that we will rest in you, lean on you, and abide in you. Father God, I thank you today for your eyes are on the sparrow. Father God, we know that you're watching out for you. So Father God, I thank you today for your word says when we've done all that we can to stand. So this day, Father God, we stand on your word. Lord, I thank you today that our ladder shall be greater. Lord, I thank you today for your word says weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning time. Lord, your words in James 1, 2, count it all joy. When your fall bears trials and testings for the testing of your faith produces patience and let patience have its perfect work that we might be complete and perfect and lacking nothing. Father God, I thank you today that you are my all in all. Lord, I thank you today that you are the great I am. Lord, I thank you today that you are what we need when we need it. So Father God, I thank you today that Father God, you are my weight maker. Lord, I thank you today that you're the lifter of my head. Lord, I thank you today as your word says in Psalms 1 and 1, blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the path of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he does meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf shall not wither, his fruit shall come forth in due season, and whatever he touches shall prosper. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Third John 2. I wish above all things that you may as prosper and be in health just as your soul prospers. Father God, I thank you today. But Father God, your words is in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Lord, your words in John 14 and 6, for you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. No one comes to the Father but through the Son. Father God, I thank you today. But Father God, your word says, glory to God, in Psalms 101, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the path of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he does meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf shall not wither, his fruit shall come forth in due season, and whatever he touches, shall prosper. Father God, I thank you today that the giver grows. Father God, I thank you today for your words that we've done all that we can to stand. So Father God, this day, we choose to stand on your word. This day, Father God, I thank you today that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall remain. So Father God, I thank you today as your words in 1 Peter 5 and 7. We cast all our cares, all our worries, all our doubts, all our fears. Lord, we give them to you once and for all. But Father God, we know that you care for us watchfully. And we know that you care for us affectionately. Lord, I thank you today. Father God, your words is in Proverbs 18 and 21. For death and life are in the power of the tongue, and we shall eat the fruit thereof. So this day, Father God, we speak life. We speak liberty. We speak healing. We speak reconciliation. 
Lord, I thank you today as your words in Genesis 1 and 26, that we are made in your image and your likeness. And Lord, you have given us power, dominion, and authority. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 34 and 10. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Father God, this day we seek your will. This day, Father God, we seek your plan. Father God, I thank you today. But Father God, your word, glory to God, have we hid in our heart that we may not sin against you. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Lord, I thank you today for the dunamis power, the dynamite power that abides and resides on the inside of us. Father God, I thank you today for your words as when we've done all that we can to stand. So this day, Father God, we choose to stand on your word. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Proverbs 28 and 1. For the righteous are bold as lions. Father God, I thank you today that we will not throw away our confidence. Our confidence is in you. Father God, I thank you today. For Father God, your words in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Therefore, if anyone be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things passed away. Behold, all things are new. Father God, I thank you today. That Father God, we are new in you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Lamentations chapter 3. That your grace and your mercy are fresh and new every day. Father God, I thank you today for today's grace. I thank you for today's mercy. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, your words is those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, we need more of you. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Galatians chapter six, do not get weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap what we have sown if we faint not. Father God, I thank you this day that we choose to fight and not faint. Father God, I thank you today as your words in 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Lord, your words in Romans 8, 18, for this is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 26, when you do not know what to pray, pray in the spirit, for the spirit makes intercessions for us with groans and words we can express. For God, I know that the Spirit searches the heart and mind of God. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 20. And we know that all these things are working together for good. For those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and his design. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 37. Getting all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So, Father God, I thank you today for another chance, another opportunity. Let's put on armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God. that We may stand against the wiles of the devil. For he rests not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world, and spirits of wicks and high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God, that we may withstand the evil they have, and then all the stand we stand there for, having our loins girt about truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel the shower, the preparation of gospel peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace and pursue peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we have quenched all the fire of the wicked, and the hand of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut to pieces the snares of the enemy by speaking the word of God for greater in us than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. We might be the only Jesus somebody sees today. So Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine and draws all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it plain, Lord, give me this day my daily bread and forgive me my trespass 
is I forgive those who trespass against me and lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Father God, I thank you today that we are a blessed blessing. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial livers. And Father God, you are raising up for such a time as this, for this is our time. This is our season. Father God, I thank you today for divine hookups, increased promotion and favor. Lord, I thank you today that Father God, you are the deliverer. Lord, I thank you today that you are the burden bearer. Lord, I thank you today that you are the yoke destroyer. Lord, I thank you today that you are the great I am. So, Father God, I thank you right now for divine hookups, increase of promotion, favor, hedge of protection. And, Lord, that we should not cause pain by action, word, or deed. But let everything we do give you the glory. Let it be praise, but let it be honor. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get on the highways, byways, planes, trains, and all bills, Lord, I thank you today that we're family of faith and not of tragedy. Right now, believe us. As I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your, your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing she has. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Lord, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have some intended end. For what the enemy is made for bad, Lord, I know. You'll turn around for their good. Lord, I pray for my, my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws coming. I pray for the church kingdom serve. Love first. I pray for every soul you put in my care. I pray for every kingdom church doing kingdom business. Lord, I pray for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, and the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backside heathen. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters in the military harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local national, giving them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, and ambulance workers. Lord, I pray for our teachers, our students. Cover, Father God, guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross guard workers. Lord, I pray for all those in the medical field this day, Father God, help them. These things, Father God, I ask in your son, Jesus' name I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Well, to God be the glory. Thank you for getting up with me. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing. I pray you have a wonderful day. I was a, I was a couple minutes off today. I got caught up. My technology wasn't. You want to say hi this morning? Good morning. You can say hi, woman. Babe, you, you look you great. Have... You look wonderful. Just say hi. You can say hi to me. Hello. See, that's it. You can see, you can do that. Praise God. Amen. Do you see what I'm saying? Stretch yourself. Stretch, Stretch yourself. Boy, it is so cold out that door. It's cold out that door, huh? That's what happens when you get a dog. You got to take a dog for a walk outside the cold door. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all have a tremendous day. I'll be back in about 60 seconds and we will jump into how to hear God. All right. I love y'all. Be right back. Did I forget anything? Did I do change? Whatever. I think I did change my heart. If not, y'all know what I mean.